In this video we will take a look at the slide of eyelid. Uh, the slide is stained with hematoxine eosine, that means that nuclei of uh, cells are purple and the uh, cytoplasm is pink. The exterior layer here of the eyelid is composed of thin skin. The epidermis consists of stratified squamous keratinized epithelium. Here you can see uh, many layers of cell. Uh, the deepest layer, or called stratum basale, uh, is composed of uh, one layer of uh, cuboidal cells, separated uh, from the dermis uh, by the basal membrane. So here you can see a uh, loose connective tissue, dermis. And here is the epidermis, stratified squamous keratinized epithelium. So uh, in the underlining uh, connective tissue, you can find um, uh, small hair follicles, uh, small sebaceous gland, for example, here, and uh, sweat glands, is here. You can see sweat glands. It's a, a simple tubular coiled uh, gland uh, which uh, has um, uh, two portion. The first is a secretion portion uh, which is lined by uh, one layer of cuboidal cells. The cells uh, are uh, lighter here uh, than a uh, duct of the sweat glands. Here you can see a uh, duct of sweat glands uh, which, uh, which is lining by two layers of cuboidal cells and the duct is, uh, is darker than the secretion portion. And the duct uh, go uh, through the uh, dermis and open uh, to the surface of epidermis. So this is the uh, exterior layer of eyelid. The interior uh, layer of eyelid is uh, surrounded uh, by a palpebral conjunctiva lined by slow, uh, uh, low stratified cuboidal or squamous non-keratinized epithelium. For example here you can see a, a second surface, it's an interior uh, part of eyelid, which is uh, aligned by stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium. Sometimes uh, the superficial uh, cells have a cuboidal shape. Inferior uh, to the epidermis or uh, to the uh, epithelium, you can find a dense uh, collagen connective tissue from the tarsal plate. Here is a tarsal plate composed of dense collagen connective tissue and uh, tarsal glands. Tarsal glands, it's modified uh, sebaceous gland. Here, here you can see tarsal gland, also called meibomian glands. Uh, the free end of uh, eyelid contains um, eyelashes that arise uh, from the large, long hair follicles. Is here. Uh, the uh, hair follicles is uh, associated uh, with the uh, sebaceous gland. It's here. It's a holocrine uh, sebaceous gland. And also with the uh, associated with uh, large sweat glands. This is apocrine. Uh, secretion pattern. In the lumen you can see secrete uh, or product of a large sweat gland. 
these cells uh, secrete the product and accumulate it uh, in the uh, apical portion of these cells and uh, release uh, the product to the lumen of these cells the cells are getting uh, smaller and uh, again uh, so these cells uh, must uh, grow and uh, produce uh, secrete and accumulate in the apical portion and again release uh, the product to the uh, lumen and uh, the circle is uh, continue again so this is the mole uh, mole gland gland of mole is a uh, modified apocrine sweat glands it's here so in uh, the core of uh, the eyelid uh, also contains a skeletal muscle called orbicularis oculi this is uh, skeletal mu muscle because uh, you can see a uh, muscle fiber uh, with uh, nuclei which uh, are located uh, in periphery so this is the cross section through the skeletal muscle fiber and uh, dark blue or purple it's a, a nuclei of the muscle fibers Oh, it's only a oh, cross section to the muscle fibers and here you can find a part of uh, orbicularis oculi in uh, the free end of uh, eyelid so also cross section through the muscle fiber and uh, nuclei on the periphery So and in, in uh, this slide you can find uh, another gland. Uh, this is lacrimal lacrima gland. It's a serous compound gland. Lac lacrimal gland produces tears and uh, contains a tuboalveolar acini surrounded by my uh, epithelial cells. The zero cells uh, have a uh, round uh, nuclei and uh, zymogenic basophilic granules in the apical part of T cells. Also, here it's a zero cells, and sometimes it's a visible uh, flattened uh, nuclei of myoepithelial cells which helps move uh, the product uh, to the to the duct yes here it's a, a nuclei of zero cells it's around and uh, flattened uh, nuclei of myoepithelial cells which helps uh, move the product to the duct of lacrimal gland so that's all for the eyelid again uh, the exterior layer it's uh, lined by stratified squamous keratinized epithelium it's here Underlining connective tissue uh, contains uh, hair follicles and uh, sweat glands with uh, darker uh, ducts. And the interior layer of eyelid is uh, lined uh, by stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium called palpebral conjunctiva. Inferior to this epithelium, you can find a plate of dense collagen connective tissue it's here, 
with uh, tarsal gland or meibomian gland, it's a modified sebaceous gland and the core of uh, eyelid uh, formed by skeletal muscle fibers called uh, orbicularis oculi muscle free end uh, of eyelid uh, contains uh, uh, long hair follicles and eyelashes arise from these follicles and associated uh, sweat gla uh, sebaceous gland sorry here is a sebaceous gland it's a holocrine type of uh, secretion and large sweat glands this is apocrine pattern of secretion the product uh, of this uh, gland uh, are uh, released uh, with the apical portion of the secretion cells and uh, in this slide you can find also lacrimal glands it's a, a serous compound gland so thank you very much for your attention See you later.